Did you know that there was a dinosaur that was even bigger than the blue whale? Or that T. rex was wrongly named the king of the dinosaurs? Today, the past is coming back to life. The incredible fossil finds in our video show you what incredible creatures once lived on our planet. Make yourself comfortable, grab a snack, and buckle up. Because this giant made the Earth shake. Forget the giraffe and the African elephant. Around 102 million years ago, a long-necked colossus walked the Earth, dwarfing even the largest land animals of modern times. Baptized with the scientific name Patagotitan Maorum, paleontologists already knew they had caught something extremely large when they discovered the first fossil tracks in Patagonia. When the giant was shaking the ground of what is now Argentina in the Cretaceous period, it was over 31 meters long and weighed an incredible 69 tons. To put this into perspective, it is roughly equivalent to the weight of 12 adult African elephants. With these impressive figures, the Patico Titan even knocks the Dreadnoughtus off the podium, which was previously considered the largest known dinosaur. The weight estimate is based on the gigantic leg bones. The femur alone measured almost 2.5 meters and weighed half a ton. The discovered fossil was also impressive in that it was almost complete. The experts painstakingly brought the vertebral bones, ribs, front and hind legs, and parts of the hip back to light. Was this dinosaur bigger than a blue whale? With its extraordinary dimensions, Patagotitan easily joins the list of the largest animals in the history of the Earth. And yet no other creature comes close to the mighty blue whale. These gentle giants can reach an astonishing body length of 33 meters and a weight of 200 tons. And yet there may have been a creature that once astonished its environment with comparable dimensions. The Mariaponosaurus fagillimus. If the largest assumed body measurements are correct, this dinosaur weighed an incredible 100 tons, and at 35 meters long was even longer than the blue whale. In fact, this would make the prehistoric lizard the largest known dinosaur ever. However, the groundbreaking find also has a huge catch. The only fossil remains were lost shortly after its discovery in the 1870s. As a result, the descriptions of that time can no longer be verified today. More recent estimates even assume that the long neck was actually much smaller. This is the true king of the dinosaurs. The name Tyrannosaurus rex means nothing more than king of the tyrant lizards. But does the T-Rex rightly bear this title? Was the carnivore which was up to 13 meters long and weighed 8.8 .8 tons really the largest predator of all time? Well, the Spinosaurus fossils answer this question with a resounding no. In fact, experts estimate that the Colossus which became extinct around 94 million years ago was up to 5 meters longer and several hundred kilos heavier than the T-Rex. However, the two contenders for the throne of the greatness never actually crossed paths. The Tyrannosaurus Rex only appeared on the earthly scene 25 million years later. The first bones of the Spinosaurus were found in Egypt in 1912, but they were destroyed in the turmoil of the Second World War. Fortunately, the Earth later revealed even more remains of the impressive carnivore. Excluding the impressive thorn-like protrusions on its back, Spinosaurus, with its elonged skull, short hind legs, and flattened claws, resembled an oversized crocodile. And indeed, the current findings of the researchers suggest that the predator was a real water rat. In addition to the physical adaptations, the analysis of the mineral appetite from the teeth of the Spinosaurus also supports this. So while it lived at least partly in the water, it probably hunted mainly large fish such as Oncopristus. This creature lived 140 million years before the dinosaurs. In view of all the exciting discoveries, films and documentaries, we should not forget one thing. Dinosaurs were obviously not the first living creatures on Earth. And while the search for the roots of life is still accompanied by huge question marks, Experts once came across the remains of a creature that had evolved long before the prehistoric lizards. Discovered in the sedimentary rocks of Canada's Ellesmere Island, Tiktaalik lived between 384 and 376 million years ago. As a reminder, 
according to our current knowledge, the era of the dinosaurs only began around 245 million years ago. As a so-called meat-finned fish, Tiktaalik resembled other bony fish in its scales, jaw structure, and the arrangement of its fins. But it also had a number of amphibious characteristics. In fact, this creature had a shortened skull, a flexible neck, and elbow and wrist joints. With these features, Tiktaalik was not only able to suck in its prey, but also to grab and bite, an ability that was of an outstanding importance for the development of land life. Our ancestors saw this saber-toothed tiger. For a long time, experts believed that Homotherium latidens became extinct 300,000 years ago, and who could blame them? After all, this was a story told by the fossil finds. However, recent discoveries suggest that this species of saber-toothed cat survived significantly longer, up to 28,000 years ago. With the knowledge in mind that the imposing big cats were native to Eurasia, Another exciting finding has now emerged. If the age dating is correct, Homotherium latidens lived side by side with European Cro-Magnon Man, a figure from the Upper Paleolithic that was once discovered in the French Pyrenees is also said to support this, although its interpretation is anything but uncontroversial. This fossil rewrote human history. It was around 25 years old, 1.07 meters tall, was damn hairy and is also the oldest almost completely preserved skeleton of a pre-human ever. Discovered in Ethiopia in 1974 and christened Lucy in reference to a Beatles song, the individual is estimated to have died 3.2 million years ago. In fact, Lucy also opened the ranks of the previously unknown species Australopithecus afarensis. However, there are researchers who assume that we are actually dealing with a male skeleton here. The importance of such finds for understanding our own evolutionary history is also demonstrated by the so-called child of Tong. This is the fossilized skull of a pre-human discovered in South Africa in the autumn of 1924. At the age of over 2 million years, the child of Tong was not only the oldest pre-human fossil found in Africa at the time, but also the first. Furthermore, the three to four year old creature, which most likely fell victim to a vert of prey, completely overturned the scientific consensus. Until then, the majority of experts have been of the opinion that humans had flourished in Asia. And even though all humanoid finds older than two million years have been recorded exclusively in Africa, the continent's role as the cradle of humanity is sometimes the subject of heated debate. After all, we are only ever as smart as the current state of discoveries allows us to be. A winged shark? In March 2021, a new study revealed the existence of a bizarre creature. Around 93 million years ago, a strange winged shark swam the shores off the coast of what is now Mexico. Of course, Aquilama Melarchi did not take to the sky with its winged-like fins. Despite this, they had a remarkable wingspan of almost 2 meters since the body measured only 1.65 meters in the same breath, the prehistoric shark was wider than it was long. Visually, it resembled a cross between today's sharks and devil rays. And just like the latter, the winged shark was probably also a filter feeder that devoured tiny plankton-like animals. The Great Grandfather of Cephalopods Unbelievable but true, there are scientists who believe that cuttlefish are aliens. According to them, the cephalopods did not evolve on Earth, but were transported to our home planet, fully developed by meteorites. I wonder if this applies to the new, and at the same time, ancient cephalopods that the experts recently described for the first time. Well, the answer to this question is probably still written in the stars. All that is certain is that the fossils of the unnamed animal date back to the Cambrian period, and are around 522 million years old, and that they are extremely tiny. One specimen was just 1.4 centimeters long and 0.3 centimeters wide. In the overall context, this discovery suggests that cephalopods were formed at the very beginning of the so-called Cambrian explosion. This was the first, almost simultaneous appearance of almost all of today's animal phyla. It all started with this fossil. Did you know that the fossilized bones of Iguanodon 
were the first to be unequivocally assigned to a dinosaur, while the geologist William Smith had already found a fragment of a tibia bone in Sussex in 1809, Gideon Mantell discovered several teeth in the same area 13 years later. Due to the similarity of the teeth to those of modern-day iguanas, he named the animal Iguanosaurus, which means nothing other than iguana lizard. The question of what the 8-meter long and up to 4.5-ton animal once looked like has received different answers over time. At first, it was believed that the iguanodon walked on four legs. Later, a kangaroo-type posture was considered more likely. Currently, however, experts are again assuming that it preferred a four-legged mode of locomotion. Apart from this, the dinosaur, which became extinct around 112.9 million years ago, is also known for its characteristic thumbs. But while the upward-pointing thumb signals something positive for us, in the case of the iguanodon, the thorn-shaped outgrowth had a slightly different function. It was probably used as a weapon. In fact, the pointed thumb bone seems so unusual to the scientists that they initially mistook it for a horn and wrongly placed it on the nose. Do you love learning about the most amazing fossil finds and their exciting backstories? Then press subscribe and look forward to many more videos on this exciting topic.